My name is Tomokazu Matsuyama. I am a Brooklyn-based uh, Japanese artist. I was brought up in a little part of Japan called Hida Takayama. It's known to be called also Little Kyoto. It's in the Japanese center of the Japanese Alps in a very high altitude, and it's full of Japanese craftsmanship. For example, kimono dyeing, all sorts of old tradition that kind of kept remain for the last few centuries. So I was brought up in though that kind of unique circumstances in Japan. Um, but for family reasons, when I was age of eight, our family decided to locate it to a California, um, Orange County. Uh, it was a very, very vibrant culture to be there in the 80s. And the switch was pretty dynamic, obviously, from a very rural part of Japan to going to a very young, full of skateboard and surfing culture. Uh, as a young kid, um, it was an enormous culture shock for me. And for that reason, what I'm interested in doing within my work is I want to kind of bridge in different bipolar aesthetic, for example, that of the West, that of the East, something that's very traditional, something that's very contemporary, um, something very ornamental, yet something that very conceptual. So what you're looking at here is you're actually kind of seeing this wall pattern, which kind of looks like of a West, but actually there is this identical Japanese woodblock prints from 300 years ago that use the exact same background. In Japanese woodblock prints, there is such an aesthetic called kacho fugetsu, which means flowers, birds, uh, wind, and moon. Um, obviously, in the West, that would not become a subject matter to be painted. But in the Asia, possibly due to Zen aesthetic, it becomes one of the serious, important subject matter to paint. So here, in the conceptual Part, I wanted to bring that aspect, but also paint a portraiture as well, because portraiture being a very solid aspect of Western art, I wanted to bridge the Eastern art and Western art all together, including that aesthetic of being very kind of contemporary and being very traditional, and also being it being very pop and very accessible, yet there is a heavy art historical appropriation that I'm interested in incorporating. What I had done with this piece was I had actually depicted uh, Buddhism Asian Koji, which is a folklore, kind of a mythological story. And I chose about five or six imagery and I depicted certain elements of the piece and made a unique combination of this composition. Um, what I'm trying to basically say is I'm, not, I'm trying to say nothing with this work. It's more than, rather than trying to tear a narrative, I wanted to get away from having a specific meaning, but yet um, function as a strong piece of fine art. For that reason, it seems like a lot are going around here, but I titled this piece, My Dog Can't Walk, which it really relates to this little Shiba Inu right here. I was not academically trained to paint, I had to find a way to be different, and that was to bring in my graphic design aesthetic. Um, so you can now probably see a lot of the colors um, may look it's computer generated, which actually isn't. I'm just kind of bringing in that Photoshop Illustrator mentality to the work, but everything is actually hand painted. For example, this piece took three months with three of us working all together. Um, and what was funny was that the more I learned about Western art and Asian art, and more specifically about Eastern Asian art, um, the reason why ukiyo-e kind of gravitated me was the color was minimized because it had to be printed. So basically it was 10 colors-ish or more or less actually, but it was creating this interesting composition telling this great story. Um, so it was easy for me to relate myself because A, it resonates with my background and also me having academic training as a graphic designer. Um, so for that reason, I thought, well, this could be my strengths. This could be how I can kind of go about and be unique and be different as a contemporary artist. For me, color is an important factor. Um, here as well, there's a blend of actually East and the West. Um, obviously, you can see a lot of kind of muted tones of Japanese, from which I depicted from Japanese woodblock prints, which you see in this gallery or entire exhibition. Um, but me, when I, was, when I first came to U.S., the Orange County, one of the big influence, the impact I received was from actually Disney movies. So if now if you look at it, there is a mixture of kind of a Disney-esque animation color scheme blended in with this muted Japanese tone. 
and also some fluorescent color, which, which seems to be the trend of a lot of younger contemporary artists these days. I'm sure you, yeah. So it's, it's kind of a mixture of a little bit of everything. So here it's, it's, it's also about the hybrid as well.